Hello and welcome to Sprout Camp Tutorials brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to machine the groove in this part that I received from a customer. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, in the model tab, we're going to drag a box over the part, and we are going to sew the faces. We'll click OK, and now we are going to use the transform function and with the transform function we're going to move the the zero or the origin point to uh, we want the Z in the middle and the X at the maximum click apply and that'll move the origin right out to the edge and front part and we also we could close real quick we want to look on this part and we see it right now this is the right side up with the blue arrow for the Z pointing up. And so we want these start areas for this spiral to be on the upside. So we'll drag a box around again. And we will click on transform. And we're going to rotate around the X axis uh, 270 degrees. Click apply, and now those starting areas are up at the top. Okay, so now if we go to our machining tab, you're going to see, regardless of, of what we do, we're going to either, if we wanted a, a box around the part or a cylinder around the part, there's going to be a lot of stock. And in this part, we just want to do the, um, the spiral. So most of the time you would have a lathe or something that you would rough this so that there is no uh, superfluous stock. So in order to get that, we're going to have to turn uh, some geometry to, to get the right workpiece. So we're going to go into the 2D geometry tab and we're going to hit um, the top view. Now what we want to do is draw a line all the way across down to this point. So we're going to pick our line tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to start the line here. We're going to go to this point. And now we're going to start there and go all the way down to this point. And we're going to start at this point and go all the way down to the center point. Now all we need to do is join these lines, so we're going to click on the chain to join them. We're going to click the first line, and the second line, and our front line there. Okay, now we got one single piece of geometry, so we're going to go back to our machining tab, and we're going to make sure that Tormach is highlighted, and we want to go to the workpiece icon here and we're going to turn we're going to pick a curve but our curve is going to be in the 2G geometry section of the, the file tree we'll click on global and we'll click, pick K11 which is that line we just drew and pick add now the only um, stock we need to take away is actually the stock that's left in the grooves so we'll move this around so we are in the proper working position. And the machining strategy that we're going to use for this is going to be in the finishing category and it's going to be 5D contouring. Now this groove is just a little bit bigger than 200 thousandths. So we're going to uh, double click on 5D contouring and we're going to pick a tool and we're going to go right to the uh, inch toolkit click apply to the library and we're going to 
click a quarter inch ball end mill, but we're only we're going to eliminate that and make it actually a 200 thousandths ball end mill. Now, if we made it smaller, it would just take more passes, but we're just going to we're going to take this in, in one pretty much just one pass. So we'll keep it at that. Uh, feeds and speeds, I'm not going to worry about too much right now. The safe level for this is a pretty big diameter uh, thing we got here. So it's about um, well, let's look at it. We'll see what diameter it is. We will look at the back part of this. And it looks as if our diameter is 5.118. So we can go to the calculator and put 5.118 divided by 2 equals 2.559. We'll just go 2.6. So we'll double click on that again. So our safe level is going to be 2.6. Our strategy is going to be both climb and conventional milling. Now our top level, we're going to make um, that those grooves are about a quarter inch deep. So we're going to make our top level a quarter inch. And we're going to take this in three passes. So 83 thousandths a piece. And then the last one we got to mess with is transition. And we need to set the safe axis. And a safe axis level is about three inches. That should be okay. Now all we have left to do is to select our actual groove. So we're going to come down here to the job assignment icon and pick drive faces. Now we're going to double click until we get all the faces. And all we want to make sure is the only face we get, not this face, we want to make sure that we get the bottom of the channel there. Click add. All right. Now you can see um, it's a little difficult to see because of the way the, um, some of these are set up. Let's see if we can make this a little easier to see. You can see these little green lines that have been generated. and when they look like that see this green line and the the channels kind of dark that means that it picked the uh, sprue can pick the surface on the back side so we're gonna want to double click on our job assignment down here and this little box will come up item properties and we want to choose alternate front side now that looks much better you'll get that nice bright line and then you'll know you're on the right side. So we'll click run. Well, apparently we have some issue here. It's probably due to lead in, lead out. Let's let's check on the lead in, lead out. We'll make that three inches. We'll click run. It's taking some time. But I'm sure it's going to look pretty good here. So we'll go to, we'll reset it and run it again just to see if we can get the green check to show up. Sometimes this uh, particular part has a lot of surfaces um, to it, so it kind of slows down the progress of the of sprue cam sometimes. So we can go to simulation right away. And you know what, let's, let's actually go back to machining, we'll go back to 5D contouring. We'll go back to our tool, and we're going to make the tool length two inches, just so it'll be a little easier to to see. And ooh, it looks like our tool is messed up. So let's go back to quarter inch ball end mill and eliminate that fifty thousandths and make the length two inches. I could explain why we're having some trouble. Everything else is looking all right. Run it. And now we'll go to our simulation. We have the machine out here. And now let's... Oh, you see the green check showed up. Now let's hit play and see what it's going to look like. It's coming down right at the beginning. And we'll speed this up a little bit. 
this is the first pass just keeps going around and around and moving down and now we can kick it into turbo oh turbo sometimes messes up stuff there we go we'll, we'll stick with what we got and now uh, it's going down to the second level and after this we'll have one more level And you could have taken this in as many steps as you want. Uh, three steps is a good amount of steps for uh, the video, but uh, you could take it in as many steps as you want, depending on your material. You can see it takes it all the way down to the uh, mount, where I'm going to turn the machine off now. Just let the tool finish up. Okay, so you can see that's our finished product. And it's gone right through the grooves. And it looks like it did a pretty decent job. So that's uh, been how to set up this piece um, using the 5D contouring. Um, this is Sprue Cam Tutorials by Tormac. I hope you enjoyed it.